And new at four, drivers headed to Idaho's back country this weekend will have to find an alternate route. Highway 21 will close tonight between Lowman and Stanley. It is due to avalanche danger, and they have not announced when it will reopen. And of course, we've been telling you that this record-breaking winter has been pushing wildlife down from the mountains. Uh, they've been coming close to major roads, and in some areas of Idaho, they've been coming into homes. Here's KBOI 2's Amiko Sumi with a warning from two state agencies. The Wood River Valley is seeing an overwhelming amount of wildlife coming down from the mountains, escaping deep snow. Fish and game officers have set up about 20 feeding sites in the valley to help. Feed sites were implemented to do basically three things. One, two, for public safety. We're trying to get animals away from roadways. Um, so that people aren't as apt to hit them. The feeding sites also bait the wildlife away from livestock feeding areas and prevent them from damaging stored crops. But conservation officers have also been called to houses this winter. A moose and later an elk stumbled into basements in Haley. Hatch says the moose rolled over a child's bed. And they said the whole street was lit up and everybody on the street was up because this moose had, had fallen in this window well, had rolling, rolled across this kid's bed. Fortunately, the kid wasn't in the house. Um, he had stayed at a friend's house. He says these animals are usually feeding on shrubs around houses, slip in the dark, and crash through basement windows. <laughs> That is a frightening sight to see a moose in your house. Fish and Game warns anyone uh, driving in the uh, wooded uh, River Valley area, the Wood River Valley area, to be extremely cautious of wildlife on the roads. They also ask that people do not get out of their cars and take pictures of wildlife at feeding sites because it spooks them away.